Welcome back to Make Play Treasure. Today we're reading Bad Dog School by Barbara M. Juice, illustrated by Jennifer Plikas. Zippy was like a shook up pop bottle ready to explode, and that's the way Harris liked him. Pirates was their first game. They sailed the open seas and searched for treasure. When they found some, Zippy buried it. Sometimes they got dirty. And Mom sent them to the tub to clean up. The bath was the perfect place for a water bottle. Harris made waves in the water, blop, blop, while Zippy blasted their anablees. Kablosh! Afterward, Harris dried off with a fluffy towel. Zippy dried off with the toilet paper. When it was time for bed, Harris made a tent out of his blanket. He and Zippy crawled underneath. Harris shined a flashlight into his mouth to turn it red, and Zippy power licked his face. You're my best friend, said Harris. You make everything more fun. But Mom, Dad, and Eileen thought Zippy was getting into too much trouble. One day, things got a lot worse. Harris made the whistle sound. Woo -woo. Zippy made one even louder. Ah! Eileen was trying to talk on the phone. Cut it out, Zippy, she yelled. Ah Zippy howled. Eileen stomped into Harris's room. Bad dog, she yelled. Zippy's tail dropped. We were just having fun, Harris said. When it was time to fix dinner, Dad reached for the pork chops, but they weren't there. They were on the floor. Zippy was tasting them. Bad dog, Dad said. Zippy hung his head and slunk away. Then he buried his bone in Mom's herb garden. Eileen discovered the disaster. Bad dog! Zippy scurried into the living room with his tail between his legs. There was Harris on the sofa. Soft, white sofa. Zippy jumped up for a cuddle. Eek! screamed Mom. At dinner, everyone ate canned ravioli instead of pork chops. Something has got to be done about that dog, Mom said. Zippy doesn't mean to be bad, said Harris. He's just a little... Zippy! Dad was diplomatic. Zippy is enthusiastic, he said, but he's also out of control. Zippy snarfed a ravioli off Eileen's plate. No kidding, said Eileen. He needs to go to obedience school. What's that? asked Harris. It's a school for bad dogs, Eileen said, like Zippy. That night, Harris cuddled Zippy under the blanket tent. I don't think you're a bad dog, he said, but I don't want everyone to be mad at you. Maybe we'd better give obedience school a try. Zippy slurped Harris on the cheek. The next day they went. At first, things didn't go very well. Zippy dug for buried treasure in the dahlias. Then he made the whistle sound. Oh! All the other dogs went crazy. The head teacher, Mrs. Pride, wiped a drizzle of sweat from her forehead. We'll start with the basic command, she said. Sit, Harris said. Zippy ran around in circles. Stay, Harris said. Zippy power licked his face. Zippy and Harris practiced the, hand, the commands, no, come, sit, stay, until Zippy got the idea. At last, Zippy was obedient and well-groomed. At graduation, Mrs. Pride presented her star student. Harris yelled, yahoo, and opened his arms for a tumble and a big juicy dog kiss. But Zippy licked his hand delicately, and that was all. At home, Harris said, let's dig for a treasure. But Zippy watched politely. What's the matter? Zippy, Harris asked. Mom ate popcorn and let a piece accidentally drop on the floor. Zippy licked his doggy lips but didn't eat it. Zippy, Mom asked. Eileen snuggled on the sofa and reached for Zippy, but Zippy had been trained to stay off the furniture. She had to hug her stuffed bunny instead. Zippy sat alone in his dog basket. He was clean and well-behaved. He even liked dog perfume. Zippy certainly is polite, said Mom. And fancy, said Eileen. Yeah, but he's no fun, said Harris. Everyone agreed. They wanted the fun Zippy back, but with some manners. Harris curled up with Zippy in the dog basket while the rest of the family negotiated. I don't care if he eats people food, said Mom, as long as he doesn't swipe it off the table. And maybe he could be on the sofa, suggested Eileen, as long as he's not a dirt ball. How are we going to get the fun Zippy bag, asked Dad. I know, said Harris. We can retrain him at bad dog school. Everyone thought Harris's plan was brilliant. They got to work. 
Soon, everything was ready for bad dog school. It was time to call the star student. Harris gave the command, Come, Zippy. He stood in the herb garden and said, No digging. Then Harris took Zippy to the special garden he and Dad had fixed. It was full of bones. Dig, he said, but Zippy didn't dig. Dad was the one to show him how. Like this, he said, digging on his hands and knees until Zippy got the idea. When Zippy went inside, Harris stopped him with a command. Sit, he said, and Eileen wiped muddy, Zippy's muddy feet. Zippy trotted into the living room. Mom covered the sofa with a sheet. Harris gave the command, Zippy, come. Zippy perked up his ears and bounded up. Then he snuggled with the family on the sheet-covered sofa. Ahoo! Yahoo! said Harris. Ahoo! went Zippy. Now he was polite, but not fancy. He was obedient, but still fun. Zippy was just right. The end. We hope you liked this book and remember to like and subscribe so you can keep up with our reading events and activities. Catch you next time on Make Play Treasure. Bye!